G'day YouTube and welcome back to Step by Step Back to Basics. After reviewing my previous video on testing, I felt that it wasn't clear enough so I wanted to go through the steps one by one so you can actually see a clear reference of what we need to do when we're testing our 18650 cells. I do apologize to all my subscribers that it wasn't that very clear, but this is very new to me. I've never done anything like making videos before, and I'm just trying to help you guys out and pass the knowledge which I wish I knew when I started this whole process. So let's go through all the steps. Um, step one is waking up the cell. To wake up the cell, we will need a battery charger. In the previous uh, video, I provided a link for a Zan Flare C4 battery charger. I just recommend that one because um, I've had great luck with it and it works really, really well. Um, and if you want more information on it, like I said, just listen to the last video. So the first thing we need to do is wake it up. Um, it should be around 2 volts to 2.5 volts. If it's not around this voltage or it doesn't wake up at all, you want to just go ahead and recycle that battery because that means it has an internal issue and we don't want to use that in one of our battery packs. Uh, step two, uh, I recommend you go ahead and charge all the batteries up to 4.2 volts and then just put them all aside. Like I've just done uh, 266 for a project I have coming up. Step three is running the normal test. This will actually give us the capacity of each of our batteries. Um, once we have the capacity, we can use those capacity numbers to actually figure out how many batteries we need to put in to make one cell to put into a larger battery or a power supply. So just run your normal um, cell. I usually just get a marker right on the outside for now. Um, step four, we want to go ahead and recharge all the cells once again to 4.2 volts. Um, at that point, we want to stick them aside in a bucket or somewhere for about one to two weeks. And after that, we want to make sure they're still holding that voltage. Because from time to time, you do get batteries which self-discharge, which means they have an internal issue. And again, we don't want to use those batteries. So after one to two weeks, if you find that the battery voltage has dropped to 4.1 volts, then you can check this with a multimeter. I do recommend that you get a five-digit multimeter. I found one on Amazon. Um, it's, they're not cheap. They're around $60 to $70. Um, but you will need a five digit in the future to calibrate your charging equipment. If you only get a, a three digit or a four digit, um, you can't calibrate your charging equipment properly in the future. So I'll leave a link for that below. I'm not affiliated once again, I don't make any money from these links. It's just a reference to help you guys out. So once we do that, we're finished with our uh, testing process and we can move on. So. Once again, I do apologize, the last video wasn't that clear. This is a, a learning experience for me making these videos, and I really appreciate you guys watching, and thanks to all my new subscribers. And uh, once again, YouTube, thanks for watching. Step by step, back to basics, and have a great day. And remember, if you buy cheap, you will buy twice, and keep it simple whenever possible.